Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and thanks for stopping in. So for today's video, this nice girl is going to be talking trash. I have two bins almost overflowing with empty products. I'm going to tell you what I think is worth your money and what I think you should stay away from. Now I have been collecting all of this for about a year. It's been a year since I've done my last empties video. And if you collected products for a year, you're probably going to have this much too. So keep that in mind. Now, just a caveat, just because I don't like something or I love something doesn't mean it's going to work the same for you. Hello, my name is Christy Smith. My skin's a little bit more mature and it's drier. So maybe if you've got oily skin, um, you may like a product that I don't like. So if you have a differing opinion, let us know in the comments below. I think for these videos especially, it's great to hear differing opinions and see what works and what doesn't for other people. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to dive in. I did want to say, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We're going to go and start with the items that were in my shower. Both of these are almost empty, so I decided to just go ahead and throw them in. The first thing that I have is the LMS Superfood Sika Calm a cleansing foam. This is a facial cleanser. It smells a little bit like uh, charcoal. I've been using this probably four or five months. Usually foaming cleansers, I love them, but they don't last as long. This one has lasted a long time. I really like the foam of it. I don't think LMS, LMS does a really bad product. I did get this in a subscription box and I would definitely um, order it again. The foam was nice. It felt like it covered my face. It was very gentle. My face never felt irritated or anything. So I think I might have, actually I don't even hear any product in here. I may have one more face wash left, but I wanted to share that. Now we're all adults here. We talk about adult things sometimes. This is wash for your lady bits. <laughs> um, here's the deal. I don't like the name Vagisil. You know, I saw somebody buy some of those products at Target the other day, and I was like, I just don't really need to see anybody buying them. So I went in looking for a wash, and I found this one. It's called The Honey Pot. That's kind of a nice name for your lady bits, right? And this is a foam, and I thought, I love foam. I'm really going to like this. Y'all hated this product. I'm going to finish it, but there were several things about it I don't like. First of all, the pump is super hard to pump. It is very stiff. If your hands are arthritic or you have trouble with strength in your hands, this isn't going to be for you. The pump also sticks. I don't know if it stops at a certain number of pumps um, or if it just sticks, but I never feel like I get the right amount of this out. It's also a foam, which is one of the reasons I bought it. I love foaming cleansers and this one is like all air. It's like bubbly foam. It's not like a thick I don't know. I just I just am not impressed with this. Now, I am going to give it another try when this is out. I'm going to try this brand and see if they have more of like a, a wash or something. But to me, this was a no-go. Okay, there you go. All right. The next thing that I have in here is my Golgi. These are the apple cider vinegar gummies. A lot of people have different opinions on these. I have to tell you, I don't use these every day but I do really like them. They aren't super sour or anything. I think they have a lovely taste and they help keep me flowing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Actually, if I'm feeling a little bit run down, we'll take a couple of these. I do feel like I feel better after I use them. Is it a placebo? Maybe. Are there some sugar in here? Yes, um, but I do like them, so I get them. All right, the next thing in here, oh, Mmm, come to mama. The Hemp's brand of lotion. This stuff is so good. And I've never had a Hemp's lotion scent that I don't like. But this sweet pineapple and honey melon, it's the best. It's the best one. I was just in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they had some Hemp's lotions on sale, but they didn't have this one or I would have picked it up. This is so good. It's just so fresh and clean and lovely. Sweet pineapple and melon. Get you some. I think they sell it at Ulta too. All right. The next thing I got in here is this Sebastian Professional Preset. Now, I got this in a sample in my Luxly Beauty Box. And I was like, I like this. I like it a lot. So I went over to Amazon and I picked these up. One is called a Reset and one is called a Preset. It's a shampoo and conditioner. Is it a I'm trying to remember if it's a clarifying. Yeah, this is a clarifying shampoo and conditioner. It made my hair feel so nice. So nice. I liked this brand, Sebastian. 
I haven't had a lot from them. They were a little bit on the pricier side, but obviously with a clarifying shampoo, you're not gonna use it every time. Maybe once a week, gets all the buildup out of your hair and all of that, um, kind of strips it and leaves it nice and clean, squeaky feeling. And so I really liked this. A lot of clarifying shampoos and conditioners for me just feel, I don't know, they make your hair feel like straw and these did not. So I would definitely buy those again. Okay, the next thing I got in here, I want to say these are from Luxley too. It could be from the Naked Beauty Box. But anyway, this is the, maybe maybe this was from A1A Beauty. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. If you remember, you can let me know. This is by Rain Cry. It is the Regenerating Shampoo and Conditioner. I thought it was, mm, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was bad. I'm kind of picky if you haven't figured it out already about shampoo and conditioner. And this one, I don't think I would buy again. Used it all the way up, but just wasn't my favorite. Okay, the next thing in here, oh, this was so good. This is from Bath Bevy. You know that I tout Bath Bevy all the time. This is their whipped sugar scrub in pumpkin apple strudel. I don't care that it's not fall anymore. I still want all the pumpkin apple scents. If this is still on their website, you should go over and grab it. Um, I don't know if my code works. I'll leave it down below. I think it's 15% off. Um, I don't know if it works in the store. This smelled so good. It's just a whipped uh, soap scrub. So it's a little bit thicker. You can kind of put your hand down in there and grab some and rub it through your hand so it doesn't um, fall through your hands and onto the tub because it's just a little bit thicker. And then you just rub it over your body. It's got that sugar scrub in it and it's just the right amount of grit and the right amount of scent. Mm, bath Bevy, they do it right. Okay, the next thing in here is by Wet n Wild, total uh, drugstore product. This is their three-in-one prep and primer. This is in the scent Coconut. It was lovely, it was lovely. I love a setting spray. I will tell you, I love their Coconut and they have a cucumber do not get their unscented because their unscented one smells like alcohol and feet. So go with the coconut or the cucumber if you're looking for a good setting spray. It looks small, um, but Wet n Wild has a really easy, budget-friendly price point and it lasted quite a bit. So there you go, love that one. Okay, what is next? Next, I have the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Frizz-Free Hairspray. Um, this is my favorite line of shampoo and conditioner. You can get it at CVS, you can get it at the grocery store. I love the keratin line. My hair is very thick and very curly, and so I like that this helps give me some frizz relief, and it also straightens it out just a little bit, relaxes it. So I grab, I use that, and then I also, in that same line, use two, and I think I'm already through another bottle, um, almost, in my vanity over here. This is their Keratin Smooth um, Heat Protectant Spray. So I use this every time I wash my hair, and I liked it so much. I've used this for years and years. If you go back probably three years in my empties videos, you're gonna see this consistently every time. Okay, what is next? Oh, now this is really nice. This is a sugar scrub. I don't see this all the time, but this is from Bath and Body Works, but their aromatherapy line is so good. I don't really buy a lot of Bath and Body Works anymore. There's just so many chemically things in them. Not that there's not in anything else, but I just think there's some better things out there. But this sugar scrub, this was their sleep version. Holy Toledo was this good. Top um, sugar scrub. It smells delicious. It was, again, a nice consistency where you could just put your hand through and it wasn't running through your fingers. Oh, it was lovely. I was actually super sad to see this go. So if you've never tried a sugar body scrub from Bath & Body Works, get you some. Speaking of what, I also have the Sleep Lavender and Vanilla Body Wash and Bath Foam, which I used and loved every single bit. If you just want a relaxing scent, this vanilla and lavender, it's lovely. I usually get it when it's on sale. All right, the next thing in here is, for, this is from Home, it's called Homecoming. This was a bath um, product from the, which box? The Authentic Books box. I really like the products in there. I think they do a really good um, job. And this was a takeoff from the book, The Kindest Lie. So that was good products from that box I am liking. This was also from that box, the Authentic Book Box. This is um, called Wedding Weekend. Um, and this was nice too. It's by the Village Soap Company. Mmm. This smelled really good too. It's another sugar scrub. Sugar scrubs, I go through like 
water because it doesn't really take a lot. You kind of put it in your hand and when you rub it all over your body, I feel like probably I use more than I should, but that's just the way it is. Going back to the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Line, this is their Shine Serum. This is what I use on my hair every day. So I actually put in, I don't think one of this is in here, but I usually use the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. Love that stuff. You can get it at Walmart. I think they have the best price. And then I will use the heat protectant and I put the Shine Serum on my hair. So that's what I do before I wash my hair. All right. This is by Chlorine. This is a dry shampoo. Everybody swears by this stuff. I was not impressed. It's expensive. And I just thought it was okay for the price. This is their dry shampoo with oat milk. It's extra gentle. I just think my hair is so thick, I need something a little more industrial strength. So I was excited to try this because I had heard so much hype about it, but it didn't live up to the hype for me. Um, okay, the next thing I have are the D Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels, and you get two peel pads. Is it one in the morning and one at night? I'm trying to remember. I think you use one in the morning and one at night. Um, and it kind of pulls off that dead skin, that first layer of skin. You don't peel or anything. They don't really burn, um, but I did like them. I've had these several times in boxes, and I do like them. Um, you only got three in this box. I would love to spend money and get like a whole big box of them, but Dr. Dennis Gross is kind of pricey, but I did like these. Okay, the next thing in here, I don't know why I put this in here, but I just thought I would share because I guess I get it in Grove all the time. This is the Mrs. Meyers apple cider dish soap. I say in all my Grove videos, I love Mrs. Meyers dish soap. It's my favorite, although I have to say, I just discovered and have fallen in love with the Dove or the Dawn Power Shot. Have y'all tried that? Like I burnt the bottom of a pot. I was making some soup and I wasn't stirring it like I should and the bottom of it just burnt a little bit. I could not get it off. That stuff, that stuff got it off. But genuinely and generally, this stuff works perfectly for me. It lasts a long time. I love the scent of it. So there you go. Okay, this is the Public Goods laundry detergent. Public Goods was sending me their products for a while and I tried their laundry pods. I thought they were lovely, wonderful. Their packaging is very sort of neutral, um, <clears throat> but their prices are really, really great. Okay, this is one that we did not like. Nobody in my family liked this. I could not hawk this to anybody in my family. This is called the Craft Beer, it's brew, the Craft Beer Thickening Conditioner. We had a shampoo too. I don't know if it made it into here. This stuff gets your, makes your hair feel thicker. I am in a family where I am blessed. I have a ton of hair. My husband is 60, gonna be 61 soon, has a ton of hair. My son has a ton of hair and Emma has triple the amount of hair. We all have thick hair. So none of us needed this, but I gotta tell you, even with thick hair, you could feel the thickness of your hair when you use this. None of us liked the texture because we already have thick hair, but if you need a little bit of help, I gotta say, I was impressed by this. Um, we didn't quite finish, maybe we did. I kind of made myself, I'm, I'm a big believer, even in subscription boxes, if I don't like something, just push through it and use it because we were blessed to get it. Um, but I, I personally would not buy this again. But if you need help, maybe your hair is thinning, you might wanna give this stuff a try because legitimately I was shocked that I could feel something, more volume, more thickness in my hair after using it. Um, I don't know why those are in there. Oh, okay, never mind, because I, I filled the empty box. Okay, these are by The Beauty Diaries. When I first started YouTube, I got a face mask from this company. It's a black pearl face mask by The Beauty Diaries. This is a Korean face mask and I loved it so much that I went on Amazon and I found it and I bought a box and then I bought another box. How many do you get in here? I think you get quite a bit. It's a brightening face mask. It's a big box. You get like seven or 10, I believe, in this box. And I love eight, you get eight. I love this face mask and I love that you could get it on, on Amazon. I haven't checked for it lately, but this is my second or third bottle of it. And if you go back, way back on my channel, you will see me talk about this. So five years later, I'm still loving it. Okay, 
Oh, this is the Glossy Box Gentle Foaming Cleanser. If you don't know, Glossy Box came out with their own line of skincare, and I liked their Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I did. I again like a foaming cleanser. I've said that already. Um, so it takes doesn't take a lot to impress me. But this actually lasted a pretty good amount of time. It felt very gentle. You know how sometimes you'll put a cleanser on and it just feels like your skin has been stripped. This was not that. Um, so like I said, it lives up to its name. Very gentle. Liked that. I think my husband's downstairs watching TV. Okay, the next thing I got, oh, this was another bad one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I was so ready to get rid of this. This is the Garnier Fructis Full Control Hairspray. It says that it has a strong hold. This did not hold an ant in a windstorm. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, it just didn't hold anything. I was trying to be funny, but I don't know that that came out funny. This does not hold your hair at all. It was awful. And I just kept thinking, please finish this. Please finish this. Please finish this. Not good. Wouldn't buy it again. There you go. I think I just need like an extra, extra strength hold on my hair for my hair. All right. I think there's several of these. There's probably another one or two in the other one. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. <laughs> This is my holy grail. Now you can usually find this in add-ons for like um, FabFitFun and some boxes that do add-ons, sometimes Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Get these. Get these when you find them on sale because they are worth the money. This is a facial scrub. It's very gentle. It's not super um, harsh. Um, there, there's a good number of scrubbies in here but not enough that's going to bother your face. I think they do a really good job. It's very fine. Um, so if you're just wanting like once a week to get the dead skin off your face, this will do you. Now, usually you get these smaller bottles, which don't last as long, but that's okay. I love them. This is another product. If you go back on my channel, I consistently show in my empty so you know that I love it. All right, the next thing in here is the Shea Moisture Bamboo Charcoal Body Scrub. This is another one I could not pawn off on anyone. I tried it. I didn't like it. I took it to Emma's uh, shower. She didn't like it. I took it to Dawson's shower. He didn't like it. It kept sitting. So finally, I just finished it. But I, I usually like Shea Moisture products, but this one I just didn't. It's got the charcoal in it, which I was thinking would be good for like acne if your teens have acne like on their back, but I don't know what it is. It has African black soap, which is supposed to be excellent. It has bamboo and charcoal and tea tree oil. So all the ingredients in here are really, really nice. It's fair trade, but nobody liked it. Nobody liked the consistency of it. We would pass on that one. All right, what else did I get? Ooh, this was a good one. This is by Ciate. I got this in one of my beauty boxes. This is their watermelon burst setting spray. I want this back. I want this back all day, every day. It smelled so good. I just love a good setting spray. Just finish your makeup off. Um, and I like one that smells good. I know fragrance for your face is not the best, but for some reason it just puts me in a good mood. So this Ciate Watermelon Burst Setting Spray was amazing. I will go ahead and list everything down below. Um, if I can, it might take me a little bit, but I'm going to try and get that done for you. So if there's anything you want to try, you can grab it. Um, this is a Hava Smoothing Body Lotion. I just got this recently and I really liked it. I don't remember if it was in like a boxy charm. It's a superfood kale and turmeric smoothing body lotion. Loved it. Never found a, a Hava product that I did not like. Okay. This is by Avant. Avant is one of those products that is ridiculously overpriced. Like this is probably, this little size is probably like $60. Ridiculous. This was a Gentle Rose Face Exfoliant. I ought to say I liked it. I really did. I like their products. I just think they're ridiculously overpriced. I haven't found one that I don't like. But again, the consistency of the grit in this was very gentle. Um, the grit was very fine and I liked it a lot. It has papaya in it, vitamin B5. Mm. Happy to have that. Okay, what else do we have? We have, oh, these were, uh, hmm, no, I didn't like these. <laughs> I had to think for a minute. These are by First Aid Beauty. This is the first thing from First Aid Beauty that I just haven't found that I like. These are the facial radiance pads. They help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. So you just, um, they're just like little cotton rounds sort of soaked in the exfoliant. And you just rub it over your face. I did not feel like these did a darn thing. I've tried other brands. I'm using, what am I using right now? 
I can't remember, but I'm liking them better. I'll put it across the screen. Um, I just didn't think these were worth it. I got them in a subscription box, so I didn't pay money for them, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase them. I just didn't think they were great. All right. Sorry, my nose is itching. The next thing I got is a Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid serum. Lovely, fine, wonderful. Probably not my favorite serum, but I liked it okay. Um, this is the Joico Dry Shampoo. Fine, liked it, happy to have it, send it away. Okay, okay, now this I just finished up. This is a product that you see a ton in Ipsy. It's the Dr. Frog Water Full Charge All-in-One, what do they call it, a moisturizer? Yeah, so I would just put this on after I put my serum on, and I was in the middle, I finished one serum and started another one in between the week that I used this and it worked beautifully with both serums. I like a water moisturizer or a water cream. They're not too thick. And when you put them on your hand or on your face, they just melt into your skin just a little bit easier. My skin just does really well with them. And I liked this brand. So if you see it on Ipsy as one of your choices, maybe try it. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench. This is my favorite, favorite moisturizer. Um, I hardly ever, this is their cloud cream, buy this um, because it's so, so, so expensive. So when I get a little sample of it, I'm always super happy. I just get so much because of the nature of my channel that I just use what I'm given. Um, but if I only could have the things that I bought, that would be one of the things that I would buy. Okay, this is the Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Coffee Sugar Scrub. I do not like coffee scrubs. They're messy. Um, this one was probably, if I had to have a coffee scrub, I would go for this Pure Lease one. I didn't think it was as messy. Um, there was a lot of oil in here, a lot. It had coconut oil, um, which it says on the thing, and I felt like an oil slick when I got out of the shower. But then after I kind of like, patted dry and came upstairs, my skin felt so good. So if you can get through that oily feeling when you get out of the shower and give it a minute, it really does work. I did, like I said, find it to be less messy than my normal coffee scrubs that I've received in other boxes. I don't know, honestly, that I would purchase it again though. I think that also came in a glossy box. Okay, this is the Lalique Peachy Keen Extraordinary <laughs> Whipped Sugar Scrub. Do we see a theme here? Do we see how much your girl likes sugar scrubs? Um, this is by Lilicious. I think I did this as an add-on for Fab Fit Fun. I loved every, every peachy juicy minute of this. I loved, I've had several things by Lilicious and I like this brand. It's more like bath body type stuff. Okay, I just finished the serum. I don't remember where I got it. I did not enjoy it. Like I was counting the days that I would be done with it. It's by Nori. Nori. It's a vital repair serum. It rehydrates and smooths. Um, I felt like it dried out my skin. And I know it has hyaluronic acid. And I tell you guys all the time, when you've got hyaluronic acid, just put some moisture onto your face before you put the serum on because it kind of sucks it in and plumps up and hydrates your skin. And I did that, but this consistently made my skin feel dry. No matter how much water I had on my face, I just didn't love it. I used it all, I used every pump of it, but I, I did not enjoy this at all. I don't know. All right, the next thing in here is a Beautiful Day body lotion, Bath & Body Works, love Beautiful Day. Um, oh, okay, I do like this. I've had several, these have come in lots of different subscription boxes. This old whaling company, Bath Bomb. This is an oatmeal or oat, oatmeal milk and honey bath bomb. So I know I've received these, I think in a 12 box, uh, maybe a um, women's collective box. If you've ever wondered about this company, it's a small company from Charleston, South Carolina. I think their products are lovely. I've liked all of them. So if you're looking to support a smaller business, it's called the Old Whaling Co. I thought their bath products were lovely. If you know me, you know that I love um, anything by Sol de Janeiro. I really like all of their line, but I really especially like their Bum Bum scent, or I think it's called Boom Boom, but I call it Bum Bum. Um, their scent, this is their Bum Bum Cream. It's supposed to firm, 
and it smells like a tropical vacation. All day, every day I would use this. So I got one of these. I think this little tiny one I paid for this was $20, <laughs> crazy. And then I think I got a gift set last year. This is their moisturizing shower cream. It's their Brazilian foreplay. Oh, this was so good too. You cannot go wrong with anything from their line. All their lines have distinct scents. Some smell like birthday cake. This one smells like tropical vacation. Um, they all smell lovely, but this is my favorite. Okay, this is another bath bomb company that I really like. I got these as an add-on either in All True or FabFitFun, I don't remember, but they're by Bathorium, and I bought from them several times since. Their bath bombs are lovely. They're huge, huge. This is the, the Snooze Bomb. It's got pink grapefruit and patchouli, but I saved one of the boxes. I've probably been through like 10 of these. I love them. Okay, I'm actually using one of these right now because I just recently got one in a box. And when I got it in the box, I squealed. I don't remember which box it was, but um, this is, I think it was Luxley maybe. This is the Aquarella um, Hydrating Serum for your face and body. It's by So Susan. This is the third or fourth one. This is another one that's made its way around the subscription boxes. I even think I got it in either a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy also, but a lot of the smaller boxes too. This stuff is no joke. It's the perfect consistency. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. You put it in your hand and it melts just easily into your skin. It's got um, everlasting flower in it. And I think that's what smells so good. I don't know if that's the scent, but it's a scent like I've never smelled before. It's very light. So if you're not loving a lot of scent, you might still really like this. It just smells good. It's the lotion you want to put on and then put on your pajamas. Then after I take off my pajamas in the morning, I always put them behind my pillow so I just know where they are. And then when you put your pajamas on the next day and you still kind of smell the lotion, that's my favorite. But this stuff is great. I just got it, like I said, and I'm using it. It's on my vanity now. I love it so much. A lot of you have told me you like this too. You still with me? Okay, now this stuff, I think there's two of them. This stuff was sent to me in PR and it's awful, like so bad. This is by Mix Easy. It's one of those where you're able to like customize the scent and if you're looking for like something for curly hair or something for frizz or something for smoothing, you're supposed to mix all the ingredients or they tell you what, they give you the idea of what you want and you pick and then they put it together for you and you can get unscented or scented or whatever. This stuff was horrible horrible i've never heard of this company since i don't know if they're still around but if you ever see mix easy run <laughs> i'm sorry to say that because they did send it to me for a review but i'm just going to review it and i always say i'm going to give it an honest opinion i hated every minute of this it made my skin feel or my hair feel like straw i got two different scents i think for the shampoo and conditioner. This is one of the things, maybe once a year, I will allow myself not to finish a product. And this was so bad that I did not make myself finish it. Either one, bad, bad. Uh, okay, what's next? Oh, this, this thing right here. This is the Starry Eyes Self Warming Eye Mask. So it takes about 30 seconds. It's very soft. This is what it looks like. It's kind of dirty. Well, no, it, I think it's just been in the bin. Okay, so it looks like this. This is the inside of your eyes. So it's really soft. And then this is the outside. It's got stars and you just put it on, um, obviously over your eyes. I think you have to click it or something. I can't remember. This thing gets so hot. So I know for some people who get migraines, cold works better. And for some people they get migraines, hot works better. I also think if you were having the flu or something and got the chills, this would be lovely. But it heats up to the point that I had to take it off. I was sweating, like my hair was sweating. I was actually really, really surprised by how much heat this put out. Um, I thought it was good. If you need that kind of thing in your life, lovely. All right, the next thing in here, this is, oh, okay. So this, this was a mistake. I got this sent to me from by accident. Grove Collaborative about a year ago messed up my order. They sent me the wrong order. They sent me somebody else's. I emailed them back. They're like, just keep that order and we'll send you your right order. And I mean, that person had bought like 
50 or $60 worth of stuff. And this is one of the things that they had bought. It was the Dr. Bronner's 4-in-1 Organic Sugar Scope. I liked this. You're supposed to be able to use it for your hands, your face, your body, and your hair. I would not use this on my hair. Um, I just use it in my kitchen for um, washing my hands, but I liked it. It smells very pepperminty, like very cooling pepperminty. Yeah, very pepperminty. Um, so if you don't like peppermint, you're not going to like this, but it, it was lovely. I was happy to learn about it. Got it from Grove. Happy they made the mistake. Remember when I talked about these, the Sebastian, and I got them from a Luxley Beauty Box? This, this is what started me buying the big one. So really liked this. This is that clarifying shampoo and conditioner. All right, let's see. The next thing, oh, this I have a love-hate relationship with. Do I have the other one? I'm not sure. I love the Drunk Elephant Night Serum. I think it is the perfect, best, lovely serum out there. Is it ridic ridiculously expensive? Holy cow, yes it is, but it is my favorite, favorite serum. That's again, if I could spend my own money, I wasn't getting subscription boxes, and could pick the skincare that I used every day, it would be that. Um, so I was like, well, I'm using the night serum in the day because I'm such a rebel. Maybe I should try their day serum. Not my favorite. It actually took me a really long time <laughs> to finish this. I didn't like it the first time and so I put it away in the drawer but it was like a hundred dollars. I paid for this one and I was like going through my drawer and I'm like I can't throw that away. I paid too much money for it. So I put it I pulled it out the second time and I have to say I liked it better. It just is very different from the night serum. This is more oily um, where the night serum is more creamy. I almost wish I almost wish that I would have switched them and made this my night serum because usually I put an oil on my face at night, but honestly, I, I probably would not buy this again. I would just stick to the night serum during the day, and that's okay. This is the C Firma Day Serum. There you go, not a fan. This is the Dove Invisible Dry Spray. Lovely, just deodorant. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, um, foundation. It looks like I didn't use it, but now I can see in the bottom there's very little left. Like there's a line right here. I did not like this. I didn't like it at all. I don't remember why I didn't like it. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's been a long time since I've used it, but I do remember that I did not like it. I think I have several of these in here. Let me see if I can find the other ones too. I think this is a three pack. I don't see the other one. I got this in a three pack last year um, at Walmart and it was the um, Shea, the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs. These are, these are lovely. These are super budget friendly. They're about $7. You can get them at Target. You can get them at Ulta. I always get them at Ulta because a lot of times they have a buy one, get one half price. So you can get a little better deal at Ulta. And then if you have that coupon where you save $3.50, if you spend $15 or whatever, you can usually make it work with these. Um, but I had never tried these scents. I usually go for the coconut lime or at Christmas, I bought the candy cane. I have scents that I really like, but this one was the Coco Colada, mm, lovely. This one was the Moroccan Rose, which I have to say I wasn't excited about until I smelled it. It was lovely. I can't remember the third one in here. It was like a champagne or something and it was really great too. So if you're looking for a sugar scrub that's budget friendly definitely check out the tree hut brand they have a scent for everyone okay this is one of my top favorite dry shampoos i'm real real picky about dry shampoo and i really like the detox dry shampoo from dry bar a little bit more pricey so typically what i do is i like the kendra volumizing dry shampoo and I like this one. Both of those are in the $20 range and then I will just go over to TJ Maxx and get like a $4.99 Batiste um, and I will kind of mix them. So I'm not using this every time, but when I'm having a bad hair day, um, this one is really good. Really like it. It's worth the price in my opinion. I'm almost done you guys. Well, we're getting there. This was a CBD soothing bath balm. And I liked this. I just did a poll over on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, run over there and follow me. I've done a lot of polls lately. I had a company reach out that has a, a CBD box and overwhelmingly the um, consensus was we were gonna go ahead and try it. Oh, by the way, let me give you an update on the Beekman 
CBD hair oil. Remember in that Beekman box, I got two of them. I'll link that video down below. And I thought it was weird that I got two. Well, I was getting that itchy patch again in the on the base of my skull. There's never any like redness or flakiness or anything, but a couple times a year, I just get this like itchiness right there. Well, I started to get it and I thought, okay, let's try this CBD oil from Beekman. So I put it in, I tried it last night. I put it in my hand. It's very liquidy, very watery, even though it's an oil. Um, and then I was afraid that it was gonna like all fall out of my hand. So I kind of just gently rubbed it. And I was trying to get it into my scalp because that's really where you want it. But my hair was kind of soaking it in. So then I kind of just was parting my hair and squirting it. I used a lot of product that way, probably more than I was supposed to. But I gotta say, my hair feels so soft today <laughs> and my hair is not itchy. So upon first impressions of that Beekman CBD hair oil, I'm a fan. All right, the next thing in here is by Farsali. I missed this, I forgot about this. What do they call these glass drops, I think? Hold on, yeah, liquid glass. This was a primer, a radiance like primer that you would put on your skin. Um, you could mix this with your foundation or you could put it on your skin. Actually, I mix this now that I remember it. I mix this with my foundation. You could put it on your skin without, but I would just put a couple drops of foundation and then put a couple of drops of this in and it just left your skin really, really glowy. I got this, I can't remember if it was in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy, but they do sell this at Sephora. It's about $50. It was lovely. It was lovely. They have different um, lines or different brands, not brands, different... Farsali products that are similar, but this one is the um, liquid glass. I don't know why my words are not coming today. <laughs> okay, got a lot of little things in here, so I'll go quickly. Oh, okay, so this is the brew. We used, ended up using all the conditioner, but this is what I gave myself permission. You realize that the two things I gave myself permission not to use were shampoos. I The shampoo we just couldn't do. We couldn't do. Our hair just got too thick. Mm -mm. Not good. So if you need a thickening shampoo, try that one. I use some Soap and Glory Luscious Body Butter. Soap and Glory is a fun brand. I think it's kind of cheeky. Um, I really like their products. I believe it's from the UK. They all smell really good. Um, you can get them at CVS. You can get them at, I think, Ulta, but I know you can get them at Walgreens too. Usually after Christmas, I go in and try and find their gift sets, but I didn't this year. Um, here's the Batiste Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I did like this one. Not as much as I like the Kenra one that I use right now, but this is a good one. Ooh, oh, y'all. Do I have any more of this down in here? Yes, I've got this one. Do I have any more? I've shared this a little bit. So I am able to try lots of products, and I think the skin store did a Paracone box last year like a limited edition box and I didn't really know a lot about Paracone but let me tell you it took me about nine months to start using the products in that box this I'm never going back I actually found it that you can get it on the add-ons with Fab Fit Fun this is their high potency face finishing and firming moisturizer and then I also got their cold plasma plus this is their advanced serum so they have their serum and then they have their moisturizer um it's very interesting when you put these products on you feel your face firming you feel a slight for me stinging i actually went and looked it up because i was like are these products bad is something wrong with them is my face supposed to feel this way it's very light but you definitely feel a little bit of sting and you can tell that something is working I love these. So I have repurchased them. I think in my last FabFitFun, I had several. I used like bought everything that they had because the price was so good. I think these are like $70 or $80. And on FabFitFun, I was able to get them for like $30. Um, so maybe check these out. I was really, really impressed with these. I liked them a lot. Um, all right, let's see what's next. Here's another microdermabrasion. I told you there'd probably be another one in here. Here's another one. <laughs> So there's been four of these Dr. Brandt microdermabrasions in here. That's how much I like them. All right, what else is in here? This is my normal foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I, this is my normal foundation. This is the foundation that I use all the time. Now I did switch and got the Pro Glow 
um, time before last was not a fan. It's very interesting to me that I have dry skin, but that the matte works better than the glow. I just wasn't a fan of the glow, but this is pretty much, I don't have it on my face today. I'm trying a Sephora um, foundation, but nine chances out of 10, I have this on my face, this or the Becca full coverage foundation. All right, drugstore again. Um, this is the Save the Wave Hydrating Retinol Serum. This was lovely. I think I got this in a, maybe a Oceanista? I can't remember. It was lovely. There was nothing wrong with it. Not my top favorite, but I liked it. Again, here, oh, here's the Pro Glow. Didn't like this one. Get the Pro Matte, in my opinion. <laughs> it's better. I finished that. Uh, anything else? Okay. Oh, this is interesting. This was the EVO Beauty. What was this? This is a primer? Yeah, this is a moisturizing primer. So I got this in a natural skincare box. EVO is EVO, E-V-I-O Beauty um, is all natural. And this is a moisturizing primer. I thought it was lovely. I like when you can take two steps and combine them into one. So a moisturizer and a primer together. And I thought it made my face look lovely. No, you can't probably see, but that's what it looked like. It was kind of small for what I used it for. It, last, it didn't last very long. This is the Tatcha Water Cream between this and the Peter Thomas Roth. Mm, so good. So good. Again, that's another one that I can't afford. Okay, the next thing is this Alorum Smoothing Cream. I don't remember what box I got, but I did not like this either. I didn't finish it. It's interesting that the products that I don't finish, I allow myself to get rid of are the hair products. Um, it made my hair feel greasy and limp, and I, I just didn't like it. It's Leaping Bunny certified, cruelty-free. It doesn't have all the bad stuff in it. I just didn't think it did for my hair what I needed it to. So that was a no. All right, we're almost to the end. This is another Chlorine dry shampoo. Not a fan. This is the Sunday Riley CEO serums. I think Sunday Riley does a good job with their serums. Kind of gross at the top. Um, I like them, but I don't love them. I think there's other things out there that are better, especially for the price. This is a L'Oreal Voluminous Base. You put this on your eyes. You can see it's white. Put this on your lashes, kind of looks gray because then after you put it on your lashes, then I will um, take it and put it, put mascara over it. This helps to lengthen and thicken whatever mascara you have. It just gives it a little oomph. I've always heard people say that they will use two or three mascaras. I guess this is the same concept. This one's just white and it just, it just makes my, mas my lashes look better. Another drugstore item. I've talked about that for years too. Um, this is the Smashbox Primer Water, little tiny bitty guy, but was happy to have it, liked it. I don't have a favorite primer, I really don't. Um, <laughs> Y'all know this one. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. I got this in an Ipsy and I will never ever go back. It is the number one best mascara and it lasts forever. It's in the $20 range, it is worth it. It lasts double what normal mascaras do and it's just so, so good. I got this Mile High Club Mascara, this sucked. I hated this. I've had two tubes of it and I tried both of them. It's very dry. I didn't like any part of it. Wouldn't get it again. And I typically like Wonder Beauty. Um, this is, I just finished this. I've had this probably a year and a half or two years. It's probably pretty vulgar and it is a concealer. I just finished it. I've been using it for a long time. So I definitely, I think I got it in a BoxyCharm. I got my money's worth from that one. This is by Medusa's Makeup. It's just a setting spray. I liked that box. It was lovely. I think we're almost done. This, okay, this I wanted to like so much. Who is this by? This is just by 100% Pure. It is a mascara, but it's made with crushed blackberries. Um, it's supposed to be, it smells so good. It smells so good. It's supposed to be all natural. I have found that I just can't find an all natural mascara that's worth anything. I thought it was okay. I kind of thought it was bad. I'm just going to say it. I didn't like it. <laughs> I like the smell of it, but I didn't think, I didn't think it was very good. Um, okay. I think we just have one or two things left. I got a Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Plumeria Body Butter. Lovely. A Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. I loved that. 
And then I think there's like one other little thing in here. This is also by that EVO Beauty. This is a natural mascara. Again, I didn't like this at all. I just can't find a good natural mascara that I feel like it's worth anything. And this is like in the $20 range too. I don't waste your money or your time. All right, so that was my empties. I hope you liked them. I know this video was a little bit longer. If you have a favorite product, let us know what they are below. And I will see you tomorrow for another video, guys. Bye-bye.